Okay, so here we are painting another wood cutout. This one we're doing the red truck. Again, just light layers, light dabs. I've actually got the video sped up a little bit, so it looks like I'm like hammering down on this guy, but I'm just doing doing it sped up so it doesn't take too long. If you've got pieces that are bigger, you can use the black makeup or the black sponge. Um, the only thing you just want to make sure is that you don't have too much paint on your sponge or your brush or whatever you're using that the paint doesn't bleed down into those um, crevices of of the truck or the piece that you're painting. It's kind of hard to get out. So if you remember, light light layers, light dabs. This one, I like how it's pretty light and you can kind of see the wood grain through the truck. I'm leaving it that way. I like it um, for this piece. A lot of the pieces have um, that, that light grain through it. So here I'm just doing the truck. Same thing, I'm just kind of making that imaginary line where it is connected and painting the whole thing. Okay, so here I am painting that black kind of touching it up and I'm going to paint little hubcaps on it so I actually just take the opposite end of my paintbrush I know it sounds weird um, but I get a little bit of black and I take the, the opposite end of my paintbrush get a little bit of white and I just like dab it on there and then just kind of circle and just keep making little bitty circles making that one big the circle bigger um, until I feel like it's as big as it needs to be um, I do it while the black is wet, so it kind of makes it a little silvery. Um, I don't make sure that's perfect. I like the white and silver and black kind of mixing together. I kind of think it gives a little bit of dimension of like an actual hubcap. And I do the same for the other side. 